This you know could arguably be the game of the year in the Big Ten in the regular season this year, with both teams uh, off to flying starts. Starting off, going into conference play, how do you feel this team is going in 3-0-1? Um, you know, we feel good. Um, we're confident in our abilities. We think, uh, you know, there's still a lot of areas that we want to improve on. You know, our defensive pressure as a team can be better. Um, you know, we, we don't want to be giving up goals as often as we have. Even though we've only given up three goals in four games, we still think we, we can improve that. So... So we're, so we're confident where we're at, but um, we want to go into Friday and, and try and improve and get off on a good start with the Big Ten play, of course. And you never know if it's going to be a completely different team or the same team, but this year you guys have returning guys, they have returning guys, and a little bit of a history of high-caliber teams with ties, close wins, and Big Ten championships. How does that play into this upcoming game? Yeah, well, we know they're going to be coming for us because, you know, we've gotten the better of them the last few years and you know obviously we've taken home the, the Big Ten tournament so so this year I'm sure they're hungry and eager to to get back on the pitch with us. It's the topic that's talked about every week now but you have to with five goals. Gordon Wild, what offensive power does having this guy that Sasha last week compared him Patrick Mullins, this guy that comes in scoring all these goals coming in, what does that bring to this team? It's great, you know. If you get on the ball in, in a good spot, you know, I think good things are going to happen, and we've seen that so far. You know, five goals in four games is, has been good, but, you know, hopefully we can keep that going. Um, you know, obviously we have other guys on the team who can score, but if, if Gordon's going to come out and put a goal in every game, then, then we're going to be in, in good shape. So hopefully, hopefully he can keep that going. It's been good to see. And Keegan Kelly got his backflip celebration there with Gordon scoring five plus goals. Are you at all, you know, roommates working on his celebrations and yeah. trying to? We've we've actually been picking fun of him because of that. Actually, you know, he said he needs to, to think of something because he he's scoring all these goals and he hasn't been thinking of celebrations. So he's he's kind of like, you know, shocked. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Talking about the USF game, how do you think that this team responded to playing games in which you know guys are more on the physical end and you're you're getting pushed around a lot and the composure that this team showed in that game specifically? Um, I think the composure showed us great because especially after I mean Eric got hit pretty badly after what five minutes in the game. Um, and we didn't retaliate. There wasn't any bad tackles. There was no, you know, getting into other people's faces. We just said we we're going to beat this team with our play. Um, and I think we lost a little bit of intensity at the beginning of the second half when they scored on us. But after that, we turned the engine back on. We scored three more. And when that stuff happens, uh, you obviously have a veteran back line and sophomores that are well beyond their years. And then you come in with leadership. Where? When a team full of leaders, where does in those moments the, the leadership come from? Um, I think the leadership definitely comes from from the seniors, from the captains. I mean, I know when Eric when Eric got hurt, everybody came together and said, "All right, we're just gonna relax, don't do anything stupid, don't get into these stupid challenges, um, just keep playing," um, which we did, which was good, and I. I as well as when we got scored on, everybody came together, we got in the huddle and said, we still got time, relax, but we need to turn the engine back on, we need to start playing harder and more intense, uh, and then that's when the goals came. And in the middle, you're very much the facilitator of this team, trying to hold down that midfield. What guys may maybe make that role easier? I wouldn't say just one or two guys, I think it's it's every everybody around me and Wherever I am on the field, it's well, yeah, me getting information so. from behind and in front of me, whether I can turn, whether I have a man on my back. Um, but it's especially the midfield. It's Cody, it's Eric and Amar. Um, I think me and Amar interchange, and Eric as well, we interchange a lot. I start on the right, but I can end up in the middle. I can end up on the left. Um, 
So it's just getting that relationship where if he's if Amar's on the left, I'm going to be on the right. If Eric's in the middle, I'm going to be on the right. And if we switch, we switch. And uh, um, we also try to combine a lot. Um, just try to play through each other. Having come from UVA, going to Maryland, playing Indiana, all of these are the top of the top college programs. How do you have you looked at those programs before and and compared them or, or seen them as elite? Definitely in the recruiting process, um, when you're when you get recruited and you're looking at all these schools, you try to compare and see which ones are the best. You know, um, Indiana, I wasn't personally recruited to, but I had a friend who went there, um, and it was the year after they won the national championship, which is just a few years ago. And so they're definitely a top program, and we're gonna have to take the game really seriously. To respect the opponent. We can't go into any game thinking, oh, we're Maryland, we're gonna beat this team easily because that's not how it works especially in big 10 games um, it's a conference game so a lot is on the line um, and this game is really important for us moving forward um, I think it can kickstart a huge big 10 um, a big 10 run with us um, but we're going to see what we're made of like I said before it's it's not going to be an easy game early in the season but you've already had the taste of the national championship how, how eager with this Maryland team are you to get back I'm very eager. I talked to Sash when I decided I was going to come here, and he said you could be one of the only players to win a national championship at two different schools. So my my sights are set on that. 